Mark Regev is senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. I asked for his reaction to the latest civilian deaths. Well, every civilian killed, that's obviously tragic. For Israel, it's an operational failure. But we have to be careful with these Hamas numbers because, of course, they don't tell you how to those figures, and we have to presume they could be exaggerated, but they don't tell you how many are, in fact, combatants, Hamas fighters who we intended to kill, and how many are, in fact, civilians. Hamas would have us believe that they're all civilians. And how many are civilians, according to you? We don't have, from this particular strike, it's probably too early to understand uh, and for us to know. But we are targeting Hamas's military machine. Uh, And uh, if Hamas terrorists have been killed in Israeli strikes, from our point of view, that is an operational success. Civilian casualties, of course, are a tragedy. While for Hamas, it's their strategy. They want to see civilians killed because that increases the pressure for a ceasefire. And that's their lifeline. A ceasefire is the only way Hamas can stay in power. The point that aid agencies increasingly make is that for civilians, there is simply nowhere safe to go in Gaza now. These evacuation orders, so-called, that Israel issues are useless now, aren't they? Well, I disagree with them. What is the alternative to have civilians stay in areas of combat and and, and to see uh, unnecessary civilian deaths? By asking people to leave areas where we know there's going to be heavy combat, that's just common sense and it's also the moral thing to do. But the point is that everywhere is potentially in the crossfire now. There is fighting going on in the north, south and centre of Gaza. So there are areas that we've specified which are safer areas where we don't expect to see heavy combat. And and we urge Gazan civilians to go there. What do you make of accusations from the United Nations that humanitarian aid is still not getting in in anywhere like the right proportions? The truth is there are trucks that we have both authorised and followed an Israeli inspection that are still being held up in the southern part of the Gaza Strip and and not reaching the people they should. And the question must be raised, is Hamas deliberately uh, making problems on the ground, creating logistic issues and others, so as to augment a humanitarian crisis, uh, so as to expedite what they see as their only lifeline? They deliberately want to see a humanitarian crisis to save themselves. The UN is very clear. It says that they oversee the whole aid process of their aid from source to delivery. Their staff are with the aid from the moment it crosses from Egypt to the moment it's delivered, and they don't talk about enforced hold-ups by Hamas at all. Of course they don't, and that's clear. Do you know, let's say the largest UN organisation in Gaza is UNRWA, and the workers' union there is controlled by Hamas. So the whole idea that somehow they don't have to coordinate with Hamas and work with Hamas is, of course, a myth. Of course they do. And uh, that's why in their public statements they are very free and open and regularly criticise Israel. When was the last time you heard UNRWA criticise Hamas? Well, just to be clear, you're not suggesting that Hamas is taking the aid. You're suggesting that they're deliberately holding it up to create problems and restrict supply. First of all, there are documented cases of Hamas stealing aid and taking it to their tunnels for their fighters to make sure that their terrorists have have the supplies that they need to continue the war. There have been documented cases of people speaking out and saying Hamas is stealing the aid from us and it's going to, to the tunnels for their fighters. Is that a reason to restrict aid going into Gaza? No, not at all. We have not restricted any aid going into Gaza. On the, on, in the first week of this war, following the October 7th massacre, uh, the Israeli security cabinet took a, a decision that there would be no limitations on food, medicine, water going into the Gaza Strip. The people of Gaza, the civilian population, are not the target of our operation. Uh, uh, we want to get Hamas. That is the goal. What about the continued violence in the West Bank? How much does that worry you that civilians are being killed there? Hamas obviously doesn't control the West Bank, but there are Hamas cells across the West Bank. And and Hamas leadership in Gaza has been sending uh, messages to its cells that this is the time to conduct violent terrorist activities, uh, the sort of activities we saw on October 7th. And so Israel has been very proactive. We've been going out, uh, arresting Hamas activists. There have been firefights in the West Bank as we take on the Hamas infrastructure and prevent them from launching the sort of terrorist raids that they'd like to. Our efforts have been successful uh, by preempting uh, what Hamas wants to do. Mark Regev, senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. This is the BBC World Service.